the Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. And it's a reminder that when we're meditating, we're not just letting go, we're also developing certain qualities of the mind. Mindfulness, alertness, ardency. In other words, there's an element of construction that goes into this. You have to put things together. One of the Buddha's images of a house, you get the various beams and rafters up, and then you secure it with a ridgepole. The ridgepole here is discernment, because that's what we're meditating for. We're trying to gain the discernment that allows us to free the mind from its ignorance, free the mind from the ways in which it's causing itself suffering. That's the goal. But to get there, you, it needs some support. And you can hear what the Buddha's explanation of these things is. But you have to remember, the Buddha's insight was not so much into the nature of things, it was in the nature of actions. What kind of actions lead to suffering? What kind of actions lead in another direction? And so simply having his description of things is not enough. You have to look at your own actions, because that's where he gained his lessons. He looked at his own actions. You can look at other people's actions, but you don't really see the whole line from the very beginning of the intention to the end. You just see the external part. If you really want to understand the principle of action, you've got to look at the mind as it's engaged in the action. And you've got to catch it red-handed. In other words, see the mind creating suffering for itself right in front of your eyes. That's when you really begin to realize that you've got to make some changes. So be very careful to watch here. Develop the qualities you need of conviction that this is a good place to, to focus your attention. Persistence, keep coming back, coming back. Being mindful to remember what the issues are. Getting the mind concentrated. So it has a firm intention to stay here, and it doesn't waver from that intention. And then begin to settle down with a sense of well-being. It's when you have a sense of well-being in the present moment that you can see it clearly. The mind isn't constantly thinking about where to go next. You can stay right here. And when you stay right here, then you see the movements of the mind in action. And you can see for yourself that what the Buddha said was true. We are creating suffering for ourselves, but we don't have to. That's the most important lesson of his teaching. And so develop whatever is needed inside the mind in order to see that lesson for yourself, to test the lesson, to confirm for yourself whether what I had to say was true or not. Because as you develop these qualities of mindfulness, concentration, persistence, conviction, you're training the mind to be a reliable observer. And you can't make any reliable judgments until you've developed these qualities fully within yourself.